Hey, my name is Garrett, and welcome to episode 53 of A Close Cut. Space Prevention Force is a tycoon game where you save lives by building, researching, and marketing your planetary business. In these devlogs, I talk about my weekly game progress, my karate training, and... Have fun! fun. Yeah, have, have fun. That's my line. <laughs> Let's have some fun. I continue working on the speaking events this week, specifically letting the player know each time an event occurs. So I'm thinking about a similar system to Game Dev Tycoon, where every time there's a convention, that it lets the player know when the convention is occurring, and it gives them some basic statistics about that. So that's what I started to implement with the speaking event. I also added a secondary event, which I'm calling the Savior's Rally for right now, just to test properly with switching between different events, because later I want to add incentive for the players to select different events to attend and to help out with. There's really no point into switching events at this point unless you really need some short term money. There's nothing different about one event compared to the other besides just, just the name. For example, PAX and GDC are similar events, but they offer different value, and I want to kind of carry that idea into the game. Maybe LifeCon is a more traditional event with presentations. Maybe Savior's Rally is something, you know, like, like a, a retreat or, I don't know, bowling? Nico, it's Roman. Let's go bowling. So this is a system I'm going to continue to work with and add little bits to. The base functionality as it was in the demo is, is pretty much the extent of it, but I'm just going to add some little intricacies to make it a little bit more exciting and incentivize the player to actually use the speaking event. I also actually worked on some animations and not just put some code that looks like an animation, but made legit animators and anim animations in the animator. Now the workers, rooms, and sucky aliens have a place animation as well as some idle animations for these sucky aliens and the workers. Yeah, I really need to pick one of you guys' names that you suggested. I, I did keep track of all the names you suggested. I'm still just trying to figure out which one I want to pick. Anyway, this 30 minutes of work added a whole nother layer of polish to the game. I'm really liking it. I'm really liking how the buildings and workers fade in rather than just being instantiated. Although at one point, things were getting a little bit funky with placing the room. Interior crocodile alligator. Animation isn't my favorite thing or my strong suit, but it, like I said, it does add a lot more polish. And as we keep getting closer to release, I'm gonna continue working with animation to make it that much better. Outside of game development, I'm still actively trying to get over my fear of going over my head for doing back handsprings and backflips. I'm probably, like I said before, gonna go to the sky zone at some point, I'll get there. Um, but just to keep my motivation up as well, I'm just working with some more spin kicks, just trying to kind of learn new stuff and, and just keep keep things exciting because that's that helps a lot with motivation. With it. I also did some more stuff with the UI and I'm going to talk about it because it wasn't just reorganizing and relocating stuff but I actually added some stuff as well. Now the workers productivity and skill is displayed on a slider which looks much more presentable than just a number and it's much more easy to read. And as you guys continue to give some great feedback which I really appreciate I messed more with the UI positioning and sizing just to make things look a little bit less cluttered and look a little bit better. Again, I'm just gonna keep iterating and iterating on this because each time, even if I don't feel like it, it just gets a little bit better each time. And if I keep doing that, then eventually it'll keep getting better, which is good. And my question for this week is who are you rooting for in the Super Bowl? It might already be over by the time you watch this, but that's okay. I'm personally rooting for Kansas City because Andy Reid, their head coach, used to be the coach of the Eagles, and that's my team. So I'm rooting for Kansas City. Thank you all for watching. I want you to know that I love you, I care for you, and I'm there for you. If you need anything at all, my Discord messages are always open if you want to talk. And from me and the commanders, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you, or rather we'll see you, in the next step vlog. Bye everyone! <laughs>